this morning. This morning it gives me a real pleasure to welcome to our convention for the first time. Uh, he's been a newly elected congressman. It's his first session, first Congress. But we're welcoming today to our convention Congressman Todd, uh, Ted Budd. Congressman Budd is currently serving, as I said, his first term in the U.S. House. He represents the 13th Congressional District, which includes parts of the Triad and Western Piedmont. His district includes High Point, Statesville, Mooresville, and Salisbury. Congressman Budd sits on the House Financial Services Committee. I know we've talked with him several times. His office has opened us. He's interested in reducing regulations that prevent job creation in this state and in this nation. He's a businessman. Congressman Budd and his wife, Amy Kate, and their three children live in Davie County. Congressman Budd, we thank you for your service, and we welcome you to our Farm Bureau Convention. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm Farm Bureau welcome to Congressman Ted Budd. Thank you, Larry, and good morning, everybody. Thank you for having me here. It's a real honor. A lot of y'all know I come from a, uh, I am from Davie County, but I also live on our family farm. And it started out as a holly farm, hatch and egg uh, operation. Now it's a cow-calf operation. Uh, the holly farms went on to Tyson, and then they started moving that to, uh, the city was moving out to us, so holly farms are in Tyson, they moved on to another place. Now it's cow-calf. and. About 20 years ago, the farmer said to us one spring, we were making hay late spring, and he said, uh, he said, you know, you ought not to make hay, you ought to take that hay and make grass seed out of it. And we did, and that grew up into a business. You might have seen the product called Rebel Brand Grass Seed. So we've got, uh, got some ag, in, at least in my background. A lot of my education came from growing up on that family farm, and I still live there. And I'm not directly involved in the ag side anymore, uh, but I do hear the cows every morning, and if I hear them too loud, that means they're in my shrubbery. <laughs> and that means I'm going to be late for the airport. But um, I still do like to get on the tractor in the weekends and help out when I can. And uh, I know there's always some frustration on the family farm, especially when you're taking that three-point hitch and trying to get that PTO connected, if you all know what I mean. And that same kind of frustration I feel that sometimes when I'm in Washington and I hear about some of these confounded regulations, some of what we're trying to roll back right now. And I see how thick that federal register is and how many of those regulations are blocking economic growth and economic progress. The good news is that in this Congress and, and with this president, we've been able to pursue a very successful agenda of rolling back a lot of those regulations. Two specific areas uh, that I want to talk about. The first is WOTUS or waters of the U.S., and what that does is it vastly expands what Congress ever meant for the EPA to do. Now, you know that wet spot in your field that you don't drive your pickup truck across. Now, the EPA says they want to regulate that spot, and I say that's ridiculous, and we want to have nothing to do with it. And hopefully with Scott Pruitt, the commissioner of the EPA, we're going to be able to roll that back, and um, we, think we, can, we think we can get that done. Uh, the other one is uh, the Endangered Species Act, and if you look at what that practically does, that can make it the Endangered Farmers Act, and we don't want that. So this is in need of some very, very serious modernization, and we know that it works against you, and for doing what it's supposed to do, it only works about 3% of the time. So that we've got some reform in the House right now, and um, we think that we can move that along and be very successful at rolling that back and making it do actually what it's supposed to do and not be in your way. The big news is, and this is very important here to the Farm Bureau, is we have eliminated the estate tax in this tax reform bill. Very excited about that. We were able to successfully do this in the House version right before Thanksgiving. We were very thankful when we came home. 
and I was very pleased. I made it to a little after midnight watching the Senate and what they were able to do at 1.50 on Saturday morning, late Friday night, early Saturday morning, uh, when they passed their version of uh, the tax reform. So we haven't done this in 31 years since 1986, so we're very, very excited to uh, help us become a more global economy. And uh, we know this is going to help family farms as well. In, in regards to the estate tax, people think that this is just for the wealthy, but we know that it's not. That's not the way a family farm operates. Um, all your net worth and your value and your assets are tied up in equipment and property and improvements and land and maybe livestock if that's your type of farm. But uh, it's not a pile of cash. And why would you ever want to sell part of your farm or part of your, part of your business to be, able to, uh, to be able to continue in business? And I think that is absolutely ridiculous. So this is very exciting. Now this week and uh, up until Christmas, hopefully we can deliver you a nice gift uh, for all of us of tax reform as we tend to get this House and Senate bill together. So very excited about this. We've got a lot of work to do. And uh, the cows were not in the shrubbery this morning, so I do get to make it to the airport and go and do the work of the People's House. And that's what uh, I'll be doing this afternoon and this evening. I want to thank you all for having me here. I want to thank um, uh, David Rouser, who again been a great friend of mine. He's here today. I think uh, Senator Tillis is going to come along as well. But you all have been great friends uh, to me, and I'm honored to be able to represent you. Please come see me. If you're ever in Washington, come by and see me. If you're in, here in Guilford County, come by the office, or I'll meet you in Davie County as well. Uh, you all have a great uh, rest of your time here, and look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you again, Larry.